A reading from the book of Acts. Dear Theophilus, in my first book I wrote about all things that Jesus did and taught from the time he began his work until the day he was taken up to heaven. Before he was taken up he gave instructions by the power of the Holy Spirit to the men he had chosen as his apostles. For 40 days after his death he appeared to them many times in ways that proved beyond doubt that he was alive. They saw him, and he talked with them about the kingdom of God. And when they came together, he gave them this order. Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift I told you about, the gift my father promised. John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When the apostles met together with Jesus, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time give the kingdom back to Israel? Jesus said to them, the times and occasions are set by my Father's own authority, and it is not for you to know when they will be. But when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will be filled with power, and you will be witnesses for me in Jerusalem and all of Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. After saying this, he was taken up to heaven as they watched him, and a cloud hid him from their sight. They still had their eyes fixed on the sky as they went away when two men dressed in white suddenly stood beside them and said, Galileans, why are you standing looking up at the sky? This Jesus who has taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way that you saw him go to heaven. The word of the Lord. Psalm 47. 
Clap your hands, all you people. Shout to God with a cry of joy. For the most Lord, the Lord Most High is to be feared. He's the great King over all the earth. He subdues the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. He chooses our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loves. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of the ram's horn. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is King of all the earth, sing praises with all your skill. God reigns over the nations, God sits upon his holy throne. The nobles of the peoples have gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. The rulers of the earth belong to God and he is highly exalted. Blessed are you, God of all the earth. You have called us out of every people and nation to be a royal priesthood and citizens of your holy city. May our words of praise call the world to turn to the joy of fellowship with you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
response to our prayers this morning is, Lord, hear our prayer. You are our strength and our salvation, dear Lord. Bless us this morning as we bow our heads in prayer. Thank you for the gift of a new day. May we feel your presence in our lives throughout this pandemic, and may we find something to be thankful for each and every day. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you are our everlasting light. Guide us in finding a way to reach out to those who are feeling isolated and downhearted, and may we bring a bit of sunshine into their life. Together, Lord, hear our prayer. Keep safe, Lord, all those who continue to go to work every day, especially remembering hospital staff and care workers. Let us also pray for those who work hard to keep us supplied with our everyday needs. Together, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray this morning for our clergy, Reverend Jody, Reverend Mike, and Reverend Cheryl, and all our ministry teams. Inspire them by your word, Lord, so that they may continue to reach out to us virtually, spiritually leading us at St. Paul's and St. Timothy's. And let us pray that soon we will be able to return to our churches to be together once again in fellowship and worship. Together, Lord, hear our prayer. Father of all compassion, please comfort us in our time of sickness. Let us pray t- together for Linda and Douglas Conrad, Jody, Candace, Taylor, and Cameron Slon White, Tori Fouquet, Thelma Dubay, Juanita Hatcher, Zoe Kuglin, Michelle Dort, Sherry Allen, Faye McLean, George Casey, Debbie Forbes, Tammy Harry, Linda Cardiff, Mark Cardiff, Joe Hutter, Donna Hopkinson, Eleanor German, Sandra Manuel, David German, Maurice Barkos, Susan Mather, Stella Myra, Frank Baisley, Sherry Slon White, Marie Mitchell, Chris Little, Caroline Boner, Paul Garrison, and Rob Publicover. And also let us pray for all those in hospital and extended care. Together, Lord, hear our prayer. Heal those who grieve, Lord. May they find comfort in knowing that their departed loved ones are with you, whole once again and at peace. We pray this morning and together for the loved ones of the late John Bootlier, Phil Gill, George Schlon White, Carol Ann Davis, and Fred Turnbull, and the family of the late Karen Pace, and the family of the late Joyce Todd. Together, Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son came to bring mankind into one family in Thee, We pray for the unity of the church in all the world. Help us to seek to heal the divisions which keep us from one another and weaken our efforts to extend thy kingdom in the earth. Give us understanding of other people's points of view. Save us from prejudice and grant that as we see clearly our Savior's will that his church may be one so we may labor in love to bring it to pass. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. People of God, let's not just stand here gazing into heaven as the disciples did after they saw Jesus leave. Instead, let's take up the mission Jesus left us, to be his witnesses, to tell everyone we meet who Jesus is and how he has changed us. And may the grace of God the love of Jesus Christ, and the presence of the Holy Spirit go with us all. Amen. Alleluia.
Thank you.